How often do you think about your oral hygiene habits? A question that might seem simple, but the answer holds a profound impact on our overall health and well-being. Our mouth is the gateway to our body, and it's about time we give it the attention it deserves. Oral hygiene isn't just about sporting a sparkling smile or fresh breath, it's a crucial factor in fending off serious health problems like heart disease and diabetes. Welcome to our journey, where we'll unravel a simple yet effective seven-step guide to caring for your teeth. This guide is designed to enhance your understanding of oral health and provide practical steps to ensure your pearly whites stay healthy and strong. From brushing and flossing to diet and dentist visits, we've got it all covered. And trust us, it's easier than you think. So are you ready to dive into these seven steps to achieve optimal oral health? The first step to maintaining a healthy mouth is to brush regularly. This isn't just about keeping your breath fresh and pleasant. It's a crucial part of oral hygiene that helps you keep your teeth healthy and strong. Brushing your teeth at least twice a day, ideally after meals, removes the daily accumulation of plaque, a sticky film of bacteria. If left unchecked, this plaque can lead to tooth decay and gum disease. The tools of the trade? Fluoride toothpaste and a soft bristled toothbrush. Fluoride is a mineral that can prevent tooth decay by making your teeth more resistant to acid attacks from plaque bacteria and sugars in your mouth. A soft bristled toothbrush, on the other hand, is gentle on your gums and effective in removing plaque from the teeth and gum line. Remember, brushing your teeth isn't just about fresh breath, it's about keeping your teeth healthy and strong. Step two is all about flossing daily. While brushing your teeth is an essential part of your oral hygiene routine, it's not enough to reach those tricky spaces between your teeth. That's where flossing comes in. Flossing plays a crucial role in removing plaque and food particles that your toothbrush can't reach. By sliding the floss between your teeth, you're able to dislodge any buildup hiding out in those hard to reach spots. This daily habit does more than just keep your teeth clean, it's a key player in reducing the risk of cavities and gum disease. When plaque builds up, it can harden into tartar, leading to gum inflammation and eventually gum disease. Flossing helps disrupt this cycle, keeping your gums healthy and your smile bright. So don't skip this step in your daily routine. It might seem like a small action, but it has a big impact on your oral health. So never underestimate the power of a good flossing routine. Step three involves using mouthwash. Now let's dive into the why and how of it. Mouthwash, especially the antimicrobial kind, is a vital player in the game of oral health. It's like a secret weapon that works to kill bacteria, giving you fresher breath and a cleaner mouth. But that's not all. Beyond battling bacteria and bad breath, mouthwash can help in other ways too. Some mouthwashes contain fluoride, a mineral that helps to strengthen your tooth enamel. This layer of your teeth is constantly under attack from acids and sugars, but fluoride can help to repair and rebuild it. Choosing a mouthwash with fluoride could be a game changer for your dental health. So, how to incorporate mouthwash into your routine? It's simple. After brushing and flossing, rinse your mouth with a capful of mouthwash for about 30 seconds, then spit it out. Do this twice a day for the best results. Incorporating mouthwash into your routine can make a big difference in your oral health. So why not start today? Step four is all about maintaining a healthy diet. Now you might wonder, what does my diet have to do with my teeth? Well, quite a lot actually. Foods and drinks high in sugar and acidity can lead to tooth decay. These substances wear down the protective enamel on your teeth, making them susceptible to cavities. So next time you reach for that soda or candy bar, remember the damage it could do to your pearly whites. Instead, let's shift our focus to a balanced diet. A diet rich in fruits, vegetables, and calcium can do wonders for your oral health. Fruits and vegetables are packed with vitamins and minerals that strengthen your teeth and gums, while calcium helps build strong teeth and bones. So, make it a point to incorporate these foods into your meals. Opt for a glass of milk instead of soda, or an apple instead of a candy bar. Your diet plays a significant role in your oral health, so make sure it's a balanced one. Step 5 is an easy one. Drink water. It's a simple act, but it plays a crucial role in maintaining good oral health. You see, Water acts as a natural cleanser, washing away leftover food particles that can get stuck between your teeth. These lingering bits of food can become a breeding ground for bacteria, leading to plaque buildup and cavities. But when you sip water throughout the day, you're helping to rinse these particles away. Furthermore, water keeps your mouth hydrated. Ever experienced a dry mouth? It's not just uncomfortable, but it's also not great for your oral health. 
Dry mouth can lead to issues like bad breath and even gum disease. But when you're drinking plenty of water, you're ensuring that your mouth stays moist, helping to prevent these problems. So, the next time you're reaching for a drink, choose water. Staying hydrated is not just good for your overall health, but for your oral health too. Step six is a crucial one. Visit your dentist regularly. You see, your dentist is more than just a tooth fairy with a medical degree. They're like the Sherlock Holmes of your mouth, detecting any problems before they escalate into more serious issues. Regular dental checkups and cleanings every six months are akin to taking your car in for a tune-up. Not only do you get a deep, thorough cleaning that outshines any brushing or flossing at home, but your dentist can also spot early signs of cavities, gum disease, and even oral cancer. These visits also provide an opportunity to discuss any concerns or questions you might have about your oral health. It's a chance to get personalized advice tailored to your unique needs and habits. So don't skip out on your dental appointments. Your dentist is your best ally in maintaining a healthy mouth, so make sure to pay them a visit. The final step, step seven, is to avoid tobacco. Tobacco, whether smoked or chewed, can wreak havoc on your oral health. This harmful substance is known to cause a plethora of dental issues, some of which can be quite severe. Firstly, tobacco stains your teeth. The nicotine and tar present in tobacco can turn your pearly whites into a dull yellow or even brown. These stains are not only unsightly but can also be challenging to remove. Secondly, tobacco increases your risk of gum disease. It interferes with the normal function of gum tissue cells, making you more susceptible to infections like periodontitis. This can lead to painful gums and even tooth loss in extreme cases. Lastly, and most alarmingly, tobacco usage significantly increases your risk of oral cancer. This life-threatening disease can affect your lips, tongue, cheeks, or throat. So, there you have it. The harmful effects of tobacco on your dental health are undeniable. Quitting tobacco is beneficial for both your oral and overall health. So, there you have it. Seven simple steps to maintain a healthy mouth. Let's take a moment to recap on these essential routines. First, brushing regularly. This activity is not just about keeping your teeth clean, but also about ensuring that harmful bacteria are kept at bay. Using fluoride toothpaste and a soft bristled toothbrush, preferably after meals, will keep your teeth and gums in top shape. Next, we have flossing daily. A toothbrush might not reach those tiny spaces between teeth, but floss can. It helps to remove plaque and food particles, thereby reducing the risk of cavities and gum disease. The third step is using mouthwash. A good rinse with an antimicrobial mouthwash kills bacteria and freshens your breath. Look for a product with fluoride to further strengthen your enamel. Moving on to the fourth step, maintaining a healthy diet. Your teeth and gums are greatly affected by what you consume. Limiting sugary and acidic foods and drinks can help prevent tooth decay. A balanced diet rich in fruits, vegetables, and calcium will promote oral health. Drinking water, the fifth step, is just as important. Water rinses away food particles and keeps your mouth hydrated, reducing the risk of dry mouth and associated dental issues. The sixth step is visiting your dentist regularly. Regular dental checkups and cleanings every six months are crucial to catch any issues early and maintain optimal oral health. Lastly, avoiding tobacco is crucial. Smoking and chewing tobacco can stain teeth, cause gum disease, and increase the risk of oral cancer. Quitting tobacco is beneficial for both your oral and overall health. Each of these steps plays a significant role in maintaining a healthy mouth. They are not just about looking good or having fresh breath, but about maintaining your overall health. Oral health is interconnected with the rest of your body's health. Remember, your oral health is a reflection of your overall health. So take these steps seriously, and you'll be on your way to a healthier, happier smile.